The day it can draw my life, the diary of Anne Frank. I hope I'll be able to confide everything to you, in a way I have never confided in anyone. And I hope you'll be a great support to me. And Frank, June 12th, 1942. Sunday, June 14th, 1942. Friday was my birthday. I turned 13 and I got this diary among other things. I celebrated with a party on Saturday. Although my best friend is Joe Peter Wall, Liz and Sam have also been very good friends for 10 years. But since I changed course, we don't see each other as much anymore. That Saturday, June 20th, 1942. I wanted to reflect on the purpose of a diary. Even though no one cares what I say, I want to write to take the weight off my heart. And that's because although I have many people who love me, I feel lonely. I can't express who I truly am. That's why this journal will be my friend. And her name will be Kitty. Before we start, I'll talk about what my life has been like. My parents got married and my sister Margot was born in Frankfurt, in 1926. I was born on June 12, 1929. Because we were Jews, we had to emigrate to Holland in 1933. Her grandmother came with us. Then the war started. Then came the surrender and afterwards, the entry of the Germans into Holland. The 1740 Jews have been required to wear a yellow star on their clothing, and have many prohibitions. Since 1941, I've been going to the Jewish high school. Grandma died in January 1942. No one knows how much I loved her, and how much I miss her. In short, the basis of our friendship has been established. Dear Kitty, I'm a good student, even though I was punished for talking once. I've got to know Harry Goldberg, an boy who goes with me to school. He had another girlfriend, but she was boring and he preferred me. We go for walks. I'm not in love, but I like him because he gives my life some variety. Wednesday, July 8th. Dear Kitty. The other day there was a knock at the door, and Margot opened it. When she came to me, she was pale. The SS summoned Dad, although they were actually summoning the whole family. We had to hide in the Van Down shelter. We put our most treasured possessions in school bags, and left early the next morning with several layers of clothes on. July 9, 10 and 11, 1942. Dear Kitty. The hiding place was in the building in Dad's office. Behind several stairs there was rooms, and corridors was our secret annex. The annex in turn was full of other rooms. When we arrived, Margot and Mom were exhausted, but Dad and I needed to tidy up and get the place to our liking. Now we await the arrival of the Van Dance. August 1942. Dear Kitty, On July 13th, the Van Dance arrived with their son Peter. I don't get on very well with Mr. Van Dam, or his son who is a bore. They put a cabinet in front of the entrance door of our hideout to conceal it. September 1942. Dear Kitty, the first disagreements have emerged. That's the thing about living together. I find Mrs. Van Dan insufferable. She keeps her stuff locked up and has a go at me a lot. I've resumed my studies with Dad. I usually argue with Mom because we don't understand each other. I'm tired of everyone scolding me and treating me like a rude child. October 1942. Dear Kitty, I was terribly afraid yesterday. At 8 o'clock the bell rang. I was scared, convinced it was them. But it must have been a beggar or the mailman. Lately there's been a chemist working in the offices of the building. That's why we spend our days not moving, so he doesn't hear us. Dear Kitty, I have only sad and depressing news. Many of our Jewish friends are being taken by the Gestapo to a large camp for Jews. We can't ignore that all those poor people will be exterminated. November 1942. Dear Kitty, I continue to be the focus of everyone's anger. It hurts me so much when Dad shows he loves Margot more. Because he's my role model. On Monday, November 16th, Mr. Dussel arrived. Then Margot sleeps with Dad and Mom, then I sleep with Mr. Dussel. Although I don't like it. That's the way it is under the circumstances. Mr. Dussel seemed nice, but he has become the new teacher, and has joined the fray. December 1942. Dear Kitty, we've all celebrated Hanukkah and St. Nicholas. We all had little gifts besides lately. Mr. Van Dan has been making sausages for preserves in view of the difficult times. January 1943. Dear Kitty, from the window I can see the terror in the street. Families are separated and sent to camps, children ask for food. Planes fly over the city to bomb Germany. February 1943. Dear Kitty, our building has been sold. The other day, the new owner came in with the architect. Luckily, Mr. Kafuis showed them the whole house, except our annex telling them that he had the key in his house. The atmosphere is still tense at the table. As for myself, the quarrels keep falling on me. March 1943. 
be a kitty. The other day we got a terrible fright when we heard knocking on the door. But they have heard us dead and Peter went to investigate, fearing of possible marauders. We had a hard time falling asleep that night. April 1943. Dear Kitty, all protectors are in delicate health. Your relationship with Mom is not improving. I try but find it hard to treat her with affection because of her reproaches. As a result, that looks disappointed. In general, the disputes are all against all of the order of the day. I sleep little and we eat poorly. May 1943. Dear Kitty, in spite of our situation, but to the Jews who are not in hiding, we are in paradise. The bombings often cause the walls of our shelter to rumble. And I'm going to sleep in Mom and Dad's room. June 1943. Dear Kitty, for my birthday, Dad wrote me a beautiful poem. He wrote it in German and Margot translated it into Dutch. It talks about me and the year we've been in the hiding place. I also had other gifts such as sweets and a book on Greek and Roman mythology. July 1943. Dear Kitty, I've almost had a chance to go outside to see an optician because of my short-sightedness. Only my ears will have to wait. On the other hand, I suppose to Bissell to let me use the table in our room two days a week, from 4 to 5.30, to better concentrate on my studies. After much insistence, I got it. On Friday, July 16th, the thieves returned and this time they got in. Luckily, they didn't discover a hiding place, but they took money, stock transfer cards and all the sugar lumps. Meanwhile, Amsterdam continues to be bombed and devastated. After all the bombs, we got the news that Mussolini had resigned, which gave us some hope. August 1943. Be a kitty. In Italy, the fascist party has been outlawed. At the same time, our annex is full of fleas. Otherwise, they maintain their routine of getting up, bugging the room, having breakfast, remaining silent, reading or sewing, eating, studying, having dinner, organizing the beds and sleeping. September 1943. Dear Kitty, Mr. Kafus is still sick and we are very sorry. Personal relationships are going from bad to worse. At the table no one opens their mouths to avoid disturbing one another. Lately they've been giving me Valerian to calm my nerves, but I think the best remedy is to laugh. Unfortunately, I think we've forgotten about laughter. October 1943. Dear Kitty. The Van Dance are going through a crisis because they have to sell their clothes to make money. Mrs. Van Dan doesn't want to part with anything. In general, we're all suffering in some way. I have no appetite and I'm in a terrible mood. The atmosphere of the house is depressing, sleepy, overwhelming. I feel like a bird in a cage. The voice who had recovered has fallen ill again. November 1943. Dear Kitty. I've been going over the other letters I've written to you. It amazes me to see the different moods I've been in. I am currently sad and my greatest refuge is reading. I can't conceive of the post-war world. I accidentally threw my pen on the stove the other day. December 1943. Dear Kitty. On Saint Nicholas Day, that and I wrote a poem for each of the people in the annex. They loved it. The next few days I had a bad case of the flu. I've had all kinds of treatments. Now I feel better than ever. This is the only Christmas we've had a present. From the outside, we were given a cake and more food. January 1944. Dear Kitty, I feel like I should give you an explanation for the bad words I'm saying to Mom. It's true that we don't understand each other, but we have learned to treat each other the best we can. I think the problem is that she considers herself a friend rather than a mother. But I need a mother, an example to follow, and who is tactful with me. In addition, going through changes myself, both physically and mentally. I'm growing up. Sometimes I wish I could talk to Peter, he's so secretive. On the other hand, we're going our best friends now. February 1944. Dear Kitty, rumors of a possible light invasion are driving us crazy. Whatever happens, I'm calm. At this point, I don't care if I live or die. I keep studying and I'm confident that everything will end well. The morning of February 13th, Peter has been looking at me in a different way. We are getting closer and understanding each other better. I've been going up to the attic for days now, wanting to see him. I don't think I'm in love, but the atmosphere in the attic makes me feel better. We talk about everything and we're not so different. We're both missing a mother. He just doesn't care about him. Mine does, but she lacks the motherly instinct. And we both have an internal struggle with our feelings. March 1944. Dear Kitty, we've been visited by thieves again. You can see that they have a duplicate key because the door is open without any problem. They came in at nightfall and closed it. Later, when Mr. Van Dorn went to investigate, they fled with their loot without closing the door. I wonder who can have a duplicate key, and if we've been discovered. Dear Kitty, 
The plane went down near the house yesterday. The aircraft crashed into a school. It caused some deaths a small fire. The crew were able to jump in time with their parachutes. But the Germans fired at them when they were in the air. It was awful. Tuesday, April 4th, 1944. Dear Kitty, I love writing. That's why I'd like to be a writer or a journalist. By writing I am freed from everything. My sorrow disappears and my courage is reborn. I thank God for giving me this possibility to express everything that happens to me. Aside from writing, my other hobbies are family trees, history and mythology, family photos and film artists as well as music. Tuesday, April 11th. Gay Kitty. The thieves are back. This time they even made a hole in our door. The police could be here any minute. In the morning, voice was notified. Within hours, Neve and Hank arrived, and we finally breathed a sigh of relief. Hank reminded us that in these cases we should not go down to the law floors. As that day, the atmosphere in the shelter has been very tense. We need this to end now. Monday, April 16. Dear Kitty, I had my first kiss yesterday. Last night at 8, I was sitting next to Peter. He soon put his arms around me, and I leaned against his chest. Then before going downstairs, he suddenly kissed me on the left cheek. I rushed downstairs without turning around, and looked forward to our meeting today. Tuesday, May 2, 1944. Dear Kitty, Everyone at home is talking about my friendship with Peter. I had doubts about my behaviour, and talked to Dad. He doesn't disapprove of our relationship. He likes us to understand each other even though he's worried that our feelings will grow. However, despite this advice, we have not stopped seeing each other. Thursday, May 25th. Dear Kitty, a vegetable supplier has been arrested because he had to choose in his house. This type of situation occurs often and increases the anger towards the Jews. Consequently, fear and hunger reign in the annex. June 1944. Dear Kitty, June 6 was D-Day, the Allied invasion has begun. Hope is once again flooding our shelter. My birthday has passed again and I'm now 15 years old. I was given many presents. July 21st, 1944. Dear Kitty, you should know there's been an assassination attempt on Hitler. There's still reason to hope. However, he was only wounded. And a statement has been issued calling for the killing of those behind the attempt. How ironic, they're now going to go on a killing spree. Tuesday, August 1st, 1944. Dear Kitty, I'm a jumble of contradictions, oh. you know that. I have two types of personalities. The mocking and cheerful Anne, who appears on the surface, and the tender Anne, who never shows herself to others. I mean, usually it seems like nothing matters to me and I'm indolent, but deep down I suffer. I'm looking to be the person I'd want to be if there were no other people in the world. Do you Yours, Anne. Anna. And Frank's diary ends here. On August 4th they were discovered. And a mother died from typhus within a week of each other in the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp in February 1945. Two months before the camp was liberated. Did you know the story of Anne Frank? If you enjoyed it, please press like and leave a comment saying what book you'd like us to summarize. Subscribe if you want to see more summaries like these. Until the next video.